Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCM Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight. In this last segment that I'm going to be on, Alex is going to be joining us live in studio. He's back from his well-deserved vacation. He's got a lot to talk about. I know you're going to want to hear his take on what's happened in the last week with the collapse of the border, leading, as we've been telling you for a very long time, as Alex Jones has been telling you, leading to a kind of implosion, overloading the entitlement system. This has been gamed by socialist planners for a very long time. They want to destroy the country economically so they can rebuild their socialist paradise. Now, one of the articles that we had earlier this week was the situation in Detroit where one of the richest areas in the country, as we've gutted the manufacturing there, is now declining into a kind of a third world state where people can't even pay their water bills. They're having their water cut off by the thousands. Now, if you look at this article from the LA Times, if you look at this lady who's at the very top here, her name is Nicole Hill. She's holding up past due water bills. Now, one of the things that I didn't talk about, because I got on to how the socialists are working with the bankers to collapse economies here, just like they did in the socialist paradise of Venezuela with Hugo Chavez. They're bragging about how the bankers got 700% return on their investment in Bloomberg. You've got Barclay saying, even though the people there don't have water, even though they have to leave the country in order to get medicine, that they have their first responsibility is to pay their debt to the bankers. But what I didn't talk about and what I meant to talk about the other day when I showed this was what comes after the economic collapse? What are they going to rebuild on top of the ruins? Well, to give you a glimpse, let's look at this person here, Nicole Hill, who's the person that the LA Times uses essentially as the uh, example of what's going on. She says, it's frightening because you think it's something that only happens somewhere in a third world country like Africa. She is a single mother who is studying homeland security at a local college. Do you see how this is breaking down? She's a homeland security major. Detroit has been collapsed by socialism into a decaying hulk of what it formerly was. The manufacturing jobs have been sent overseas. The people can't pay for their water bills. So what's left? They can study to become a part of the police surveillance state. It's Homeland Security that is running the tyranny internally in this country, that is collapsing the borders. It's Homeland Security that's doing that. And it's Homeland Security that these people are going to be working for. And uh, Alex, did you want to say something on that? Or you no, can, sir. Okay. I apologize. I'm All just right. in here getting my notes ready. Okay, that's good. I know he's going to have... interruption. I know he's going to have a lot to say about that. I thought you were coming for the mic. But uh, that's what they're going to build on the ruins of this country. We've seen David Petraeus talking about what comes after America, North America, the North American Union. We've seen Nancy Pelosi saying, we have a community, North and South, that just happens to have a border running through it. They are now making an established fact, what they passed into law 20 years ago. And if you look at the NDAA, at indefinite detention without trial, Looking, changing the, declaring the United States to be a war zone, saying that they're going to enact military law. They have done Rex 87, all of these different plans for decades, and now they're going to roll them out just like they're rolling out NAFTA. These people who are coming in from Central and South America, that is all part of the NAFTA plan. And that's what they're going to do with the police state. They enact the laws. They let them sit there for a while. If they had immediately started arresting people under the NDAA and holding them indefinitely without trial, if they'd passed that law and started doing that right away, there would have been a massive resistance against it. As it was, Obama said, I'm going to sign it, but don't worry. I'm not really going to enforce it. If they had done the same thing with NAFTA, if they'd signed the trade agreement and then immediately collapsed the borders, people would have woken up. They let it sit there for decades. Now they're doing it. Alex is going to be in here. In the next segment, he's going to be talking to Harry Dent about the economic situation that we're faced with here in the United States. Stay with us. We're going to be right back. From the 
water table, to our soils, to the atmosphere itself. Our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. Hi, I'm Dr. Edward Grew. It took me 20 years of searching the globe to find the deposit of the highest purity iodine available. The new Survival Shield X2 is mined from 7 to 10,000 feet below the earth in pristine, environmentally clean conditions. The iodine crystals we use are extracted from an ancient 300 million plus year old deposit deep in the earth. It's the strongest nascent iodine on the market today. It delivers 650 micrograms per drop. Experience the new formula. Experience the ancient purity. Shield your family. Survival Shield X2, available now at InfoWarsLife.com. X2 from InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. I've always believed in nutrition and herbs. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals sourced from powerful organic herbs harvested around the planet and then concentrated for maximum potency. I just received my Male Vitality about three days ago and I must say that is good stuff. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. I jump out of bed ready to fight these criminals every day. I look forward to waking up and taking my Super Male Vitality and getting the day started. It's not just the Super Male Vitality. All the products at InfoWarsLife.com are simply amazing. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality and other powerful products from InfoWars Life. He's the T-Rex of political talk. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Well, I only took off six days. And it feels like I've been gone a hundred years. And we have had... Uh, Emails flooding in, phone calls by the hundreds, thousands of emails, people all over YouTube, Infowars.com, PrisonPlanet.com in the comments. Where is Alex? Where is Alex? Where is Alex? And I tell you, I am uh, really touched by the fact that every time I take a few days off, uh, it becomes uh, a big deal with the wonderful listeners. And I'm extremely humbled by that. And I mean that. I I'm extremely humbled by it. But I got to say, a lot of folks I talk to, when I was even out of the country, uh, miss it when I'm gone. People came up to me, hey, you're not on yesterday. I guess you're here uh, where I was in the Caribbean. I'll tell you about that coming up. But boy, David Knight and your crew are just doing a wonderful job. So, uh, you know, used to, we didn't like it when you were gone, and, and, and we still don't. But man, what, what a great uh, crew you've got and what a great find you have uh, in David Knight. But, you know, David Knight, who filled in the last hour because... Everybody I talk to, and of course the news is reporting on this as well, but everybody I talk to says the airlines are just a nightmare now. And it seems like the last year, every time I fly, it's totally screwed up. And this time was no different. And I'm not going to go into the whole story. All of you, I'm sure, have your own horror stories. It's just that this country is degenerating and degenerating fast. And when you go to Europe or you go even to third world countries... 
in the Caribbean. And, and they're more free than the U.S. on so many fronts. It, it, it really freaks you out. At least it does from my perspective. And I've got a lot of mixed feelings uh, concerning this because on the one hand, horrible, 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 horrible things are happening. But on the other hand, incredibly good things are happening as well. The old saying is it's got to get bad before it gets better. Or it's always darkest for the dawn. We call those cliches because people say them so much because it's true. Truth is stranger than fiction. It's true. Misery loves company. It's true. Governments, if they get big, will hurt you and hurt you bad. It's true. Government is a dangerous servant and a fearful master. George Washington. And America, somehow in the last 60 years, got at the point of thinking, no, 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 all that is not true. It's crazy to not want to have a giant government that runs your life. It's crazy to think that government might do something wrong. Why? Keep the faith. As John Kerry and Hillary Clinton and, and, and Obama and Michelle, but also Hollande and Cameron. I mean, you look at their speeches, because I, I, I look at hundreds of news articles a day conservatively. Let's, let's be honest, 500 to 600 articles I look at a day, maybe 100 I read. I'm a news junkie, and so, I, but I'm sure you're seeing this too, but these are public speeches, it's not like it's hidden, where they're saying, keep the faith, it's going to get better, government loves you, government's the answer, don't listen to people that say that tyranny's right around the corner, and that government's some sinister force, it's a force of good. No, the truth is anything big and unaccountable will manifest the worst traits in humanity and will wreck civilizations and will burn cities and put people in slave camps. I don't care if it's the Aztecs. I don't care if it's the Babylonians. I don't care if it's the ancient Druids. I don't care if it was the Japanese since during some periods or whether it was the North Koreans or whether it was Africa. It's the same story over and over again. Rome. And I say this a lot, but I really want to quantify it before I get into all the news. We are in a progressing tyranny. It's progressive, like brain cancer, malignant cancer. It's metastasized. It's blooming right now. And unequivocally, I can say the people running things are clearly going to stage massive terror attacks and blame it on domestic groups, and they are going to try to come arrest a lot of people. And they really are going to start a civil war. And anybody that doesn't want to go along with their tyranny, they'll have ISIS, Al-Qaeda, blow something up and claim that they did it with you. And it's real simple. People either wake up to that, that we've been hijacked, and we are honest about it, or we're going to lose everything. And I'm 100% sure, that's why every time I end up taking off a week, I realize I should do it more. Because when I do, it's just so much clearer. But you don't need a bunch of perception or historical perspectives or super smarts to look at what's going on, not just here, but all over the world under globalist management, and to see that they've created a really deviant, sick system. And, and, and we all study history to a certain extent. I mean, everybody knows famous things that have happened in history. Everybody knows, that's another cliche, but it really is true, that elites kill their own family members, marry their horses, uh, dress up like werewolves and tear children's throats out, sacrifice children on fiery altars, bloody altars, have giant wars, uh, make everyone worship them as God, and then become so psychopathic they commit suicide. I mean, if you study ancient corrupt societies in Rome, you name it, though, it would end up basically that if the leader or group of leaders had nuclear weapons, they would detonate them.